Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Redline Monster. Tuning back in. Behind me is that different, right? that different, that green accord you guys wanted to see is right here. I'm gonna make a separate whole video for you guys. Go do a quick, uh, not a quick one, a detailed walk around and an interior and an exterior. Show you guys what's up, what's been done, all the setups, all the good stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share, of course, because without that, this channel's not going anywhere. And we're about to head to a meet too, so. So this is a separate video. I'll be making a cord separate uh, video though for the meet. And um, let's jump right into it. All right, that's the beauty right there. So we can already tell it's on bags. And that's a daily driver, by the way. That's that's insane. We give respect to this guy. <laughs> so tell me about it on the outside. What All kind right. of wrap you got? All right, it's a, an OZ Tech wrap. It's called Midnight Green. I wrapped it like two weeks ago. The original color used to be black. I kept the top black from the original paint. Nice. Yeah, yeah that kind that, that contrast nice. Oh, yeah, cool. Appreciate you. Sweet. And then the front lip. Front lip, that's the Yofer. That's the Yofer's front lip. Mm -hmm. And you got the grill um chrome or the covers on for the chrome delete. Yes. It's wrapped, right? Yeah, it's or wrapped as well. Wrapped, okay. Of course, you know cool. the custom emblem. And the custom emblem, you made that yourself, right? Yes, one of one as of now. <laughs> you better copyright it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude. That's insane. It's a 3D one too. Yep. Look at this thing. Yeah, the person who actually created the badge was Fusion Airworks on Instagram. Yeah. That's awesome. And then people are going to be asking your um, setup on the wheels. Right, Let's the wheels, get to that. Those are the um, Parada CM2s. Yeah. 19 inch, 19, nine and a half. The wheels are 235, 35, 19. Cool. Nice setup. Yeah. And then, of course, the big brake kit, roller face. And then the main thing, they be like, yo, was that caliper <laughs> covers or the big brake? Is a yeah, big, big brake, brake kit. kit. You can see the bolts right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. That's the six piston, uh, yep. 56 rotor. Was it hard to install it? Really. I mean, you didn't do it, yeah. You yeah. didn't, you didn't, you didn't do it. So, <laughs> but is it like? It, 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 honestly, you only need to buy. How it. does it? How does it run though? Like, does it help you with braking a lot? No, do you do see a difference? Yo, the difference is crazy. Can't explain it. Like when I drive a regular car now. Yeah. It you feel like you feel it. like the pads and road roads are worn out. Yeah, exactly. Sweet. So yeah, that's that's the wrap color. It looks like paint literally in person. Everybody. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Everybody's at the meet when last time we were like, yo, is this a paint job, man? Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm trying to get stuff like but, five, ten times a day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that's insane. And then um you got the Yofer side skirts. Yes, Yofer side skirts. Chrome blue on the windows. As IG right there, make sure you guys follow him and DM him if you got any questions on the build, the setup any questions like that you're interested in if you need a link whatever dm him follow him as well and then he's got that uh aftermarket uh bumper barely they're they're like out of stock right now literally v4, so v4. yep this is a v4 ones yeah i remember v4s and then um damn bro you put the red contrast in the bottom too right of course yep he did the he did the tape like how i did on mine with the white exactly. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you saw the video. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. He, he put the red tape there for contrast, so it looks really great. You have the back view. They're reflective, so that stands out at night for sure. Um, yeah, you got the, the emblem in the back, and then he kept that OEM, like the OEM color. And V3 is red to give that red, red um, accent to it. Now, you literally thought about this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome got this angle right here and then do you have a different setup in the back or is it the same no, setup as the front all around, all around the 19, same setup that you mentioned okay 19 uh, you said 19 and a half mm -hmm. wait 19 nine and a half yeah so it's 19 by nine and a half uh fitment and then so it's all around the same same setup and then the wheels are ferrata's that's how it looks when it's aired out. They're already flushed in. With the fenders, like sit, it just tucks right over it. If you got 20s, you would have to roll your fenders. Oh yeah. Yeah, you would have to roll I've the fenders. I've 20s before this, bro. <laughs> yeah. We got a closer, closer view for you guys. There you go. And yeah, you got the carbon fiber cords on the outside. 
Yeah, that I got from synth carbon. Okay. So it's real carbon. Real fiber. carbon fiber mm -hmm. then. Cool. I mean, it looked like it from far away too. I was right. like, it wasn't like that glossy type of events had that swirls on it. Like, yeah, I exactly. think it's a real one. <laughs> it is. My judgment was right. So the interior, you got the whole interior. Um, what is it like red? Blood red? Yeah, it's cardinal red. Yeah. Got the doors done too, the armrest and, and the door panels there. Looks good. Comfy. You guys had it, so it's comfortable. When you do the aftermarket leather, guys, it's comfortable. It's like sofa. Yeah, it's, it's, it's none of that. It's not that dealership type of, you get full full leather. Those are like very thin leather, leather types. These are thick. Aftermarket ones are thick. Yes, it costs money, but it's different. It feels different. I have it in my Accord too, the ivory. So you guys know about that with the red stitching. And that's the rear right here. Yep. Yeah, I recently added those gloss accents. Since the, last the gloss accents, right? Yeah, I didn't notice them before. See the gloss accents in the bottom? Uh, looks pretty awesome. Yep. That's the interior setup for you guys. Let's get in the middle view. Right there. And now we're going to. Uh, so about that, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. He just got this literally like today, yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Look at this, he finally got this done on his steering wheel. His logo he made. And to finish off the look. And that completed it. <laughs> forged carbon fiber, I'm not forged, sorry. Carbon, uh, carbon fiber steering wheel. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the, cor the forged carbon fiber like two days ago, but it's still in my head. <laughs> um, yeah, you got the, the casings right for the Airlift? Yeah, that was from Camberwell. Nice. They got the real carbon fiber, I'm assuming, Exionado. Of course. From the, the paddle shifters. Yep. yep. Cool. Looks good. And anything under the hood or not? Nothing. Um, I did a Some high accents. volume PRL intake. Okay. People know what that, that looks like pretty much. Yeah. And then setup, you got subwoofers and everything. It's not pretty, but. Nah, it's still something. Right. That's a daily driving too, so. All right. When I he's take in the it mood, anytime I need to carry <laughs> stuff. Yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah, he's got those uh, the diamond stitch mats underneath it. That gives it a nice, oh nice, a cushion mm -hmm. touch at the bottom. Right. <laughs> yeah, so that's the setup on the inside. It's tanks in the back, of course. I was thinking about changing it to, to right here. To up, up here, right? Yeah, yeah I was about to mention. But space. yeah, then that goes all the way back. Exactly. Then you have more space, and you got to take this out. Exactly. So you could switch that guy up there. I think that's the next step. That's the next step. Yep, yeah, that's coming soon, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, comment below. What do you guys want to see next? Make sure you guys hit the bell icon to be notified of upcoming content because the um, the meat is coming up. So I'll be making some nice clips with the drone as well for it, and. That concludes the video. So yeah, we'll take a quick look underneath the hood and then that's it. Not much done yet. The strut bars. That helps you with corners. Oh yeah, for sure. That Definitely. bar right there helps you with corners. Especially when you're lowered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then he's got the the first version of PRL intake. Yeah. The V2 is clean, man. It goes literally exactly. out right there that's fully. What I wanted. The V2 comes, yeah, it's, it literally goes out super clean. Yeah, Mishimoto oil, cash can. Oil cash can is helpful too, cleans out that dirtiness from the oil mm -hmm. so it doesn't stick in your engine. And I do have the Civic Type R turbo in storage. Oh, That's nice. That's be the next step. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, guys. So stay tuned, keep watching, and uh, appreciate your support. Peace out until next time.